Hi, I'm Chef Tim Love, and I'm here with Nicole from BronxMama.com to cook, do a little bit of cooking and some chicken here. Tell me about your blog. It's called Bronx Mama. It's a resource site for Bronx parents. Basically, we talk about things to do in the Bronx with your kids, um, events going on, things uh, families can do together, and I try to keep it low cost also. Oh, okay. So, and do you do any cooking at home? Um, well, my husband's actually a chef, so oh, awesome. he actually loves cooking at home. I'm, everyone teases me, they think I don't do any of the cooking, <laughs> um, but I do, and I'm excited to ask some questions and have fun with this. Well, my wife, you know, my wife does some cooking at home, too, and she always says it, that she tells everybody that if she wasn't married to me, she'd be a great cook. Yes. But I, I, I disagree. <laughs> I think she's a great cook, so. Well, I, that, I think that you guys are the only ones who believe it because you're the only ones who really get to try it. Everyone yeah. else gets to try the chef's food, so. <laughs> well, let's get started here. We got a whole chicken. Cooking at home, I like to cook chicken, whole chickens. They're very versatile. Uh, they're inexpensive, obviously. And you get a lot, all kinds of different things you can do with whole chickens. But this is a simple recipe we're going to do today. So I'm going to have you mix up the, the uh, little coating we're going to put on. Okay, so we got some Hellman's mayonnaise here. Go ahead and throw that in the bowl. Okay. Do you do recipes on your, on your blog or, or mostly lifestyle stuff? I featured some recipes. I've been trying to get some of the Bronx mamas who read the blog to send mm. in their favorite recipes and stuff like that. So. Okay, great. So a little mayonnaise, add in some fresh garlic here. Okay. A little bit of oregano. Chili flake. You gotta spice it up. You like spicing up your life a little bit every once in a while? Definitely. I like that. Okay, now mix all that together. So what we're doing is we're, we're basically making like a, what I call a wet rub for the chicken, okay? We're gonna take that mixture, they're doing a good job there, and we're gonna take this paintbrush, and we're gonna paint it on, a little pastry brush here, and go ahead and just paint it all over the chicken. Now this is great, if you get your kids or something like that at home, right. this is the kind of part that they like. You get to paint the chicken, right? And when do you like to use a wet rub versus um, dry rub? Well, that's a good question. It's your kind of call type deal, but for me, I think this kind of rub, uh, it keeps the chicken a little bit more moist, and especially with you know putting the helmets on the outside gives it a nice crisp on the outside, which we all like, right? Nice brown skin. Definitely. So do be pretty liberal with it. And then we're gonna add some salt and pepper to it. So a little pepper, and then some salt. And we always like to don't be shy with the salt, especially with the skin on the outside like that. So we'll put this in the oven about 45 minutes, uh, 425 degrees. We want to keep the temperature high to get that nice brown on the outside. Look at that. that looks great. Smells awesome too. So come out wow. here. Yeah. So <laughs> great thing about you know whole chickens is I mean I'm, there's five of us in my family and a whole chicken will take care of you know three kids, two adults and it's like five bucks. Definitely. You know? And that's one thing too for my website that I like to try to introduce people to things that can seem gourmet and that you might have spent a lot of money on, but <laughs> that's looks right. awesome. And it looks awesome. awesome in the middle of the table. Absolutely, you add a couple of vegetables to this thing, you're ready to go. So if you want to go check out this recipe at BronxMama.com, that'd be great. But if you want some more lessons and tips on some crispy, juicy chicken, visit Hellman's on Facebook.